Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Simply Called Angela Williams. I hope you all are enjoying these videos, and I've heard for a few of you that y'all finding these videos um, very helpful on your journey. And that was the whole purpose of me doing these videos. So, if you haven't been watching, I did create a playlist. You can watch everything in order. Um, just click the subscribe button below, and it's free, so you just get a notification when I post a new video. And um, also, so this is video number 21, that kind of the intro. I broke my ankle, all the bones dislocated back in um, April 2019. I'm just um, going back to document my journey in hopes to help someone else because there wasn't a lot of information all in one place. I had to like go all over the internet, try to find information, you know, to help me out on my journey. So I, that's the purpose of me creating the playlist so you can have it all in one place. So now we're back on um, my physical therapy, round two of physical therapy, more aggressive physical therapy to get this ankle moving because if you've been watching my videos, you know my ankle's been stiff. And it's actually still stiff to this day, but we'll get to more of that. I'll wrap it up and show you how I'm doing today. But this is um, week of August 11th to August 17th of 2019 on my broken ankle journey. I did all my physical therapy. And what I mean by I did all my physical therapy is uh, when I came home, I actually did my exercises at home. Um, you know, raising up and down on the stairs with my ankle, pushing against the wall, you know, all these things, um, you know, walking, of course, <laughs> um, doing the little band, flexing the ankle, uh, and you can go back and watch my previous videos about all the ankle exercises that um, I've been doing. Uh, now, the physical therapy, on the other hand, it definitely has been killing me um, still, so I do walk out sore, which is good because um, that means progress. It's like no pain, no gain, and it really mean that, so... Um, and if also I posted my very first YouTube, what they call YouTube short. And, um, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. Cause I'm going to talk about some things that I showed in there. Um, one of the things that I showed that I said I was going to be telling you about <clears throat> is called this. This is a called a plantar. It really, this is for plantar fa um, fasciitis for people. Um, but if you watch my previous video, I've been sleeping with what they call a Donna splint. And a Donna splint is like, the, I call it the torture chamber. <laughs> it basically is a mechanical thing that you put on your um, leg and ankle. It's, stre it's stretching like when you're asleep, it's stretching, gently stretching that ankle um, because my ankle is still so tight. But sometimes, you know, it, it hurts. It hurts very, it's very painful sometimes sleep with that thing. So um, if you didn't watch that video, I do talk about the Donna splint and talk about what it is go back and watch it on my playlist but then sometimes i would switch out and wear this which is really called a plantar fasciitis for people but i use it to help my ankle get to a 90 degrees and it just you know it just is real easy to use it just just straps on you know takes you through the little loop here strap it on and then also at the bottom of your feet i found it easier to put it on the bottom of my foot first you know put it in there first and then strap it on and then do the top part but um so I, sometimes i would sleep with this and it was just to help me get that that 90 degree dorsiflexion which is what i needed um also i talked about in my youtube short is this i said i would let you know what this is this is called a, a gynometer a gynometer i don't think i'm pronouncing that right um, and it has measurements along it. This is to help you achieve dorsal, what they call dorsiflexion or any angle that you need to improve on your ankle. I need to get to at least 90 degrees or, you know, even, you know, more because it helps you when you're walking up hills or going down hills. And if your ankle is stiff and it's just not moving, you know, you're trying to walk up hill or downhill, you need to flex or you need to flex going this way, right? So at a minimum, I had needed to work at getting mines at a 90 degrees. Um, so it's called for um, ankle dorsiflexion. And I'll put a picture of a description, um, what it is either here or on the next next thing you're seeing in this video. So you get a more definitive definition of what this is for. But I would measure my ankle, um, you know, and, and and this is, I don't know if I can put my foot up here in the video, but this is my ankle that I broke, the left ankle, and I would put it here. Um, to measure you put one here and one here and that's how you, you flex your foot to see how how far you can flex see you know it not at 90 degrees but that's how you work it but um of course you can always you know it, it's for range of motion it's you know show your range of motion okay and i don't know if you can see the the numbers in here but that tells you how much you're flexing and i don't know if it's better on this side yes on the numbers only this side but that's what i use this for um some doctors like it. Some doctors don't like it. When I mentioned that I was doing that, it was like, eh, you know, it's all right. Yeah, you can use it. But <laughs> anyway, I just saw a YouTube video about it. I was like, okay, they say I need to get my ankle at least 90 degrees or more. So I was like, okay, let me, because how would I know until I go back to the physical therapist, you know? So, I mean, anyway, that was just something that I use. You don't have to use it. Um, also, at my last um, 
last my last physical therapy and doctor visit will be will be the following week after this week. So my next video will talk about that. It's gonna be interesting. Um, also, I've been walking with uh, my cane this week per se. You know, this was back in 2019, but I've talked about my this walking cane and how you can how it breaks apart very easy and it just snaps back in there. But I talk about that in another video too. And it also has just like your crutches, you can adjust it accordingly for your height. Um, purple is my favorite color if you haven't guessed it by now. So I started walking with a cane versus crutches. The goal is to walk with no crutches and no cane, of course. But it might point in this journey doing the walk on the cane is, is helping because your ankle my ankle st is still very sore you know at this point still very sore still stiff you know so it just helps to have some type of support <laughs> when you need it just to have it you know um also um i went shopping this week you know by myself to a store and i was pushing the buggy it felt it just makes you feel kind of normal if you gone through this type of journey before you kind of know it plays it plays on your mental so it just it's, it's just good to get back to doing some of your own um, normal things i uh, also tried my hand at dancing you know just in the house uh, but my ankle was so stiff <laughs> I had very limited moves. I mean, I was trying to, you know, do this right here. It was like, mm, 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 mm. it was like, nope, nope, nope. We're not moving to the left or right. We're just going to stay right here. But, um, you know, you just want to try to get back to your normal self. And uh, it'll make you feel good mentally. And uh, so this is going to wrap this video up. I'm going to show um, some walking videos. You get to see uh, my progress at this point in the journey. And um, like I said, I hope you've been enjoying these videos and uh, just stay tuned. There's more to come in my next videos to help you with your journey. I hope you're finding this information beneficial. I know some of you said it, it, it has been helping you. So that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. Stay tuned for the videos, my walking videos that I'm showing next. All right. Bye. Till next time. some way to take your home. It's just a loan designed for older homeowners and it's helped over a million Americans. A reverse mortgage loan isn't some kind of trick to take your home. It's a loan like any other. Big difference is how you pay it back. Find out how reverse mortgages really work with AAG's free no obligation reverse mortgage guide. Eliminate monthly mortgage payments, pay bills, medical costs, and more. Call now and get your free info kit. Call 1-800-771-8082. Other mortgages are paid each month, but with a reverse mortgage, you can pay whatever you can when it works for you. Or you can wait and pay it off in one lump sum when you leave your home. Discover the option that's best for you. Call today and find out more in AAG's free no-obligation reverse mortgage loan guide. Access tax-free cash and stay in the home you love. You've probably been investing in your home for years, making monthly mortgage payments, doing the right thing. And it's become your family's heart and soul. Well, that investment can give you tax-free cash just when you need it. Learn how homeowners are strategically using a reverse mortgage loan to cover expenses, pay for health care, protect investments, and so much more. I think it's getting better. All right. Got my last physio, um, manual physical therapy and laser therapy session on Monday. 
Um, and um, then on August 20th, 2019, I go to the doctor. We'll see what he says. I think I do. I'm doing better. We'll see what he says. Keep you updated.